Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. This is the Home Assistant Green and it is the latest hardware offering from Napukasa, the makers of Home Assistant. Its price point is currently $99 and I can tell you right off the bat, is it a good device? Is it a quality build device? It definitely is. But is it the right device for you? Well, that varies widely on a number of factors. So let's spend a few minutes talking about what this device really is, what it has, what it doesn't have, and which type of users this device is really aiming for. Join me. Alright guys, so let me start by saying that this Home Assistant Green was purchased with my own funds. Nabucasa or Home Assistant are not a sponsor of this video, they are not approving this video, they are not editing this video. I am a, a long time Home Assistant user, but all the opinions you are about to hear are completely my own. Let me start real quick by just unboxing this device. It really is straightforward. You do get a Home Assistant sticker which is a very nice touch, some leaflets and this is the device itself. Let's open it and it is hefty, it has some weight to it. This device is passively cool by this heatsink, it has some weight on it and it works. This device does run a, lit a little bit warm but overall the heatsink works. So, this is the device itself, it is a green PCB, which really gives the device its name, and we get a power barrel jack, some USB ports, an HDMI port if you need to connect the device to a display to troubleshoot or something, we get an Ethernet port, and for a home assistant, green Wi-Fi isn't an option, nor would I recommend using Wi-Fi for home assistant installations, and we have the reset power, the reset button right here that you can reset your device with. This is the device itself. And we also get an ethernet cable, which again, nice touch. And the power supply, of course. And you do get options for whatever location you are whether it's Europe, United States, or Britain. Again, a very nice touch by Nabucasa. So, this is the device. And let's say for, for a minute that, at least in my opinion, the device is priced currently at $99. And I think that this point, the $99 price point, is really the decisive factor that every other factor revolves around. And let me explain why. When you hear the $99 price point, in my opinion, you either think for $99 I can buy a mini PC out of eBay, install Proxmox on it, install Home Assistant as a virtual machine and still have compute power to spare and my Home Assistant will be 10 times more powerful than the Home Assistant Green and you will be right. But if that's your response, then in my opinion, this device Nabucasa is not trying to sell the device for you. They're trying to sell the device for the other uh, demographic that hears the $99 price point and say, hey, this is actually a very nice and value, a uh, high value package for my, uh, for my use cases. And considering that the, it's a zero effort onboarding, it's just connecting it to power and network and you're starting to work with Home Assistant, in regards to the internals, you get a quad-core CPU, which is not a very powerful CPU, it's more in par with a Raspberry Pi 4. You get 4 gigabytes of RAM, which in my point, in my, in my opinion, sorry, it's not only the sweet spot, it's even above that. 4 gigabytes is plenty. And you get 32 gigs of eMMC storage, and I'm really glad to see companies move away from using SSD cards as primary storage, SS, uh, SD cards, sorry, are highly unreliable. They can fail, fail after a few months of use. EMMC storage is reliable, it is durable, and it is 
plenty of storage. Now, if you're thinking that this device actually is a very nice package, again, you will not be wrong. You're probably one of those people that don't want to mess around with Proxmox or hypervisors or virtual machines or Docker instances. For those of you who want a device to connect and start onboarding, this is the, I think, the benchmark to go to. There's zero work to start working with Home Assistant when you use Home Assistant Green. Now, again, the $99 price point in terms of the differences between Home Assistant Green and, for example, the Home Assistant Yellow, which is another offering by Nabucasa, again, the $99 price point is, in my opinion, the key factor that everything else revolves around because with the Home Assistant Green, again, you get a decent package, zero hassle, you just connect and start working. Whereas with the Home Assistant Yellow, you get a few extra features. For example, Zigbee is built in with the Home Assistant Yellow. Whereas if you want Zigbee with the Home Assistant Green, you will need to use a sort of a USB dongle to add to the USB ports. With the Home Assistant Yellow, you get an option for Wi-Fi. Again, nor would I ever recommend that you use Wi-Fi. You also have the option with the Home Assistant Yellow to power the device with PoE. Again, something that I think really distincts the different demographics the devices aim for. And with the Home Assistant Yellow, you get an M.2 NVMe slot that you can insert an NVMe drive and get plenty of storage. Again, with the Home Assistant Green, you only get 32 gigs of e e e e EMMC. Something about that, I think that ever since being able to back up your Home Assistant to a, an external location like a NES or something like, or something like that, 32 gigs is plenty in my opinion. If we didn't have this option, then I would say that maybe 32 gigs is scratching. So as you can see, there is a lot of some tinkering needs to go uh, to the Home Assistant Yellow before you can open up a browser and start working with Home Assistant. And again, with, ho with Home Assistant Yellow, you, you need to also install the Home Assistant application on the Raspberry Pi compute module. A big advantage is the option to upgrade because if you think that four gigabytes is not enough, you can swap up, swap out, sorry, the Raspberry Pi compute module, insert in a module with eight gigabytes of RAM, and you're off to the races with eight gigabytes of RAM. So as you can see, with the Home Assistant Yellow, you need to do some work in order to get the web page of Home Assistant, whereas with the Home Assistant Green, you do not need to do anything. You don't have the upgradability path, but the simplicity is the key factor with the Home Assistant Green, whereas with every other option, including the Home Assistant Yellow, some work from the user is required. So again, looking at the Home Assistant Green and looking into the internals of the device and looking in the lack of work that needs to be done in order to start onboarding yourself to Home Assistant, I can clearly see, in my opinion, the kind of demographic Nabucasa is aiming for with this device. And actually, for the $99 price point, with the entire package you get hardware and software, it really is a super valuable kind of product that can be appealing to a lot of other demographics that maybe up until today were somehow blocked from getting into a Home Assistant because of the technical requirements needed uh, to get usually Home Assistant up and running. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate an existing installation of Home Assistant into the Home Assistant Green. It's as easy as backing up your current installation, restoring on the Home Assistant Green, but that will be a topic for my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. It will really help you a lot. It helped me a lot. Sorry. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.